All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol AAPL, Apple Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, Apple Inc. has actually been in a downward trend. It broke through the 50 day moving average uh, several times actually in the last couple of weeks and days. And it was just about uh, one time here on the 14th. It broke through it on the 15th to the 16th and recently it broke through it about two times and now it's been in a bearish run now there's a slight bullish recovery here that if the bulls can use that as momentum they can start to work their way up but this stock has actually been in a downward trend for some days now and we're gonna have to look at this closely on what's important for the upcoming week and even tomorrow so Obviously, the lowest point, uh, which is super important, is all the way over here where there was a slight leveling off before this run actually continued, and it was down here at 115, literally 116, just to round it up. It was 115 and some change, but 116. If 116 actually gets broken through, this could be well on its way to newer lows and reaching newer support levels. Now, it's in the 116 area, but I mean 116 flat and getting closer to 115. It's going to be super important. Now, the lowest point in this bearish run is down here at literally 115.60. Let's land right on it. 67. It's 115.67. It keeps jumping down to 66, but it's 115.67. Super important number. For the bears they're trying to tear through that and the bulls are trying to stop it so it reached that low already but it didn't hang out there so that's a good sign that there was able to be a recovery which this support level uh, shows it at 116.14 but we're gonna zoom in here and see what is important for tomorrow and like I said this upcoming week so if it breaks through 116, this could be onto newer lows throughout the week. And again, one of the highest points reached, which will be very important for the bulls, is 120.26 before this bearish run. Now, 120.26 is obviously going to be above the 50 day moving average. So it could be also your first resistance level to break through above the 50 day moving average if this was to continue to go down i mean it's already above the 50-day moving average but if this was to go down that's going to be an important number to break through by the bulls to hit newer highs and get deeper into bullish territory so right now the 50-day moving average is 119.56 super important number as long as the bulls are below it right and the bears are dominating it by tearing it down then we are in bearish territory and if the bulls start to take control, leaving the bears behind and start to break over it, we'll be in bullish territory. So as of right now, the chart is showing us we are in bearish territory. Let's zoom in here and see what's important. So right now in this slight recovery, this is the highest point reached throughout the day in this bearish run. And that is just a couple cents above the price where we're at, which is 116.82 currently and the resistance level is 116.87 so bulls have to break through 116.87 turn that into a support so they can start to break away to newer highs this does not signify that the bulls have gained control though that's something i really want to emphasize because that is just the beginning of a catalyst of momentum and that can just give us an indicator of where this is going but the bulls have a long way to go till they reach the 50-day moving average of 119 56 to start to work their way up and get back into bullish territory this is just the beginning of the journey so 116.87 will indicate that this is on its way back up and it will start to show the momentum that can be built now down here as we can see one of the lowest points here before hitting this lowest point all the way down here at that 115.67 mark obviously is down here at 116.15 this is the lowest point it was touched twice super important support level for us to be aware of because of the fact that 116.15 was touched 
twice. Now a support was formed, which is a good sign for the bulls that they can try to stay and hover above this number to start to work their way up to newer highs or kind of stop themselves from breaking to newer lows. But if 116.15 is broken through, I would pay very close attention to how quickly this is getting closer to 115.67 and also how quickly is it getting closer to 116 because as I stated earlier, that's a very important number. It's one of the points where this leveled off and started to rise up to newer highs. So this is going to be a very narrow stretch as we're seeing here in the chart. It's going to be very important to see the tug of war on how it plays out. Pay very close attention to how this stock reacts if it breaks through support. How quickly is it hitting newer lows? And are the bulls even trying to reappear? Because the bulls are already losing leverage by being this far down. And the bears are gaining control or keeping the control by breaking through this support. So keep that in mind. I hope that with these cues, you guys are well equipped for tomorrow's trading day and the days to come. With these cues, you guys will be able to make your own rational decisions as investors. And to all first time viewers and investors, and you feel encouraged to subscribe, please do so. But don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that I've circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the Federal Reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S&P 500 index up, also brings up individual ticker symbols with them. And again, 30 cents to $3 may not sound like a lot of profit per share, but that does add up. And like I say, profits are profits. So we're gonna look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what I talk about in the video. And it's a weekly series. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it. Definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out. But here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pump. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar. And it rose up so on the 14th we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20 i mean that's 40 points risen on the s p 500 index and that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to three dollars we're going to look at another one here and the next one was on september 22nd and here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling and you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part not every time but for the most part but on the 21st which was a monday it was rising up and it rose up to this point here and the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst form beforehand and it rose up 
to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped now not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up well it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down beforehand you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you were going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the 6th which on the 5th it started to rise it leveled off this is the last candlestick of the 5th coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the 5th and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the 6th it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still helping the market rise up and even though the s p 500 index is rising several points there are individual ticker symbols rising up like i said 30 cents to three dollars check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money